Hi, I'm Charmaine Keegan. I'm the founder director and the lead trainer here at Smarter Selling. I'm often being asked, how does sales training work? You know, how do my leaders come through? How does my sales people come through? The early people, as well as those that are really experienced, and the customer service team. And like, what do you do? And how does it? Yeah, how does it actually work? And what we care about at Smarter Selling is that your team, you and your team, position yourself as that business partner. You know, the trusted advisor, the authority in your field, the subject matter experts. So there's a journey that we take to make sure that that happens so we take on that journey here's the website which you're on and under sales training there it takes you through to our main programs that we run so here's our process Here's our main sales training, and these are our main leadership training. So going back to our process, there's a whole piece that happens before training takes place, which is literally what it says there. There's assessment of skill level. We understand your business, your product, your solution, your service, who your customers are, what the playing field looks like, are you the authority, what, what are you in terms of market share, etc. Just a, lot, a deep dive in the foundation of what you're doing who you're selling to, what your challenges are, what your team's challenges are, because obviously their challenges are your challenges. What current sales process you have, how that, how's that working, how does it look, uh, what are you looking to have as your goal, short term, three months, six months, 12 months goal, like how are we guiding your team and where they're heading to, and then a development pathway. And by that, we call it development pathway mapping, which usually means something like, which usually looks like, this so this is our development pathway mapping so we have all the different um, programs and the leadership programs and underneath we then map the teams out they could be whoever's on your team what they need to learn next and we map that out over three months six months 12 months 18 months three years so that's a mapping pathway after that we go into a pre-program this is actually the program here which the programs underneath as you know this is what happens before that so you as a leader because you're driving the bus we have a short session all about how to get your team ready so as soon as you book actually we jump straight into this and we jump straight into that session because i want to make sure that the way it's delivered to the team the fact they're having training is done in such a way the team have full investment they fully see the value and they know it's out to make their life easier there's a lot of infrastructure around this part of the pre-program for example we go through this training guidance together this is what to do beforehand to get them coach ready what to do on the training itself because most leaders are on there with them and what to do after the training but this is the psyche behind how anyone learns which i'm completely obsessed with so we have that together and then your team to get them individually invested, we then go into questions to the team. We, they answer about their current skill level and where their gap is. So again, they start to understand, oh yeah, actually this is gonna bring me value, I'm looking forward to this. And reflection, the process of doing that is getting them to reflect on how they currently operate and where they're heading to so they can see there's a gap and then go, okay, this is out to make my life easier and these are the skills I need to learn. And I'm going to just jump now to post the program for a moment. So post the program, again, as a leader, you would get a coaching session and then your team, you and your team, have access to the um, academy. So this is the academy. It is a resource-rich tool that's been designed so that your team have, have something back in the office. So you've got your deep dive program, which is often face-to-face, -face, so it's like, you know, it's workshopping ideas, listening, learning, reflecting, embedding, and action plans on each topic. That's how it rolls. Each topic builds on the next one. And then back in the office, you know, what are they going to do? So we want to keep them, make sure they're polished and sharp and always evolving and inspiring them, the curiosity to like, my goodness, that was great. I learned so much. Actually, where else can I go to learn more? This is what the academy is. So it's a resource-rich tool. So let's just go into a couple of things. It has podcasts, webinars, Q and A's, lots of eBooks and guides, lots of videos. A few podcasts there. Uh, let's go into another section. There's always um, lots of masterclasses on. So 30 minute um, masterclasses on objections, negotiation, business development, questions, closing, opening, being the trusted advisor, being the authority in your field, how to account, de protect and develop, how to acquire new business. And these are the next, six that are coming up and some that are just for leaders 
So, and we've got all different types of people that we're interviewing. So, John Year from TEDx Melbourne gets interviewed. He's one of our trainers, Karen Curtin. So, quite a few different people come in and do um, interviews. It's all and it's Q and A, so people can involve themselves. And if there's any recordings, it goes up there. We have great blogs. We have ebooks and guides. So, I'm a trainer of NLP, Psychology of Sales, um, Timeline Therapy, Three Types of Hypnotherapy, Myers Briggs Value Levels. Uh, situational leadership, extended disc, uh, just a whole manner of things about how we sell in leadership, but also how we think, behave, and communicate, like what's been said and what's not been said. And what is the benchmark for a great professional leader and a great professional salesperson? What is the benchmark out there? And that's what I'm bringing people to, so they can go right in the industry, this is where we need to be to stand out. So these are sort of, yeah, I'm always writing books about that. So it's like about motivation and by behavior, things like that. Now, once your team have been on a course, they'll also have access to the course. They click on here and they have access to the full course online. So our signature program is this Sales Accelerator. So that would pop up and we do that across Australia. We do that in quite a few different countries. I mainly spend six weeks in the UK each year around there. And this is the course that we do. It's the main deep dive one that covers seven key topics and in here we have the topics to the left so telephone is under exploration so between it's 62 lessons then there's listening objections negotiation there we are account development and business development and then afterwards after the program what you can do is go in each one and have two or three minutes <laughs> two or three minutes that's how long each one is to go through and listen and learn write your answers in and finish your team can go on to the next one so this is a great resource to keep them polished along with all the academy resources they have this as well which is to do with yeah lessons so they can go back and go oh yeah i want to polish up on how to about my language or how to be the trusted advisor that business partner so i'm always adding new videos to this so your team have a look right now, that one has 122 videos in it that are short and to the point. Now, as a leader, you have a different vision on what your team are looking at. So as a group leader, you will have another platform. So you'll click on there and you'll go down to your team. This is my team. And I can see straight away they're on three courses. And I can see straight away my team and how they're developing and whereabouts they are. So let's just say Elaine here. What are you doing, Elaine? What are you doing, Elaine? outside having a fag. What are you doing, hey? Here we are, this is what she's done. Everything's there, and I can see what she's done. So I get a lot of information about how I can support and guide my team, particularly if they're not in the office and they're remote, like to understand, to get into their head, how they're developing. And of course, because it's data, there's oh, so many ways to run reports, but let's just go to, um, yeah, let's go to this one. So that's your group would come up, your course would come up and then let's just say you wanted to know okay how are they with asking questions which is the core fundamental thing about being you know the trusted advisor and the authority is understand your customer and go in together looking at the outcome for the customer so how are they with asking those intelligent meaningful questions because that's going to help you understand how you can serve them better so we would go to these are all the lessons in um, of a topic let's go to exploration and then these are all the lessons in exploration. I'll just go to questions. And there we are, there's my team. And that's what they've all written. So I've got exactly everybody what they've written. So Jenny said, I realized that prior to this, I thought my job was to show the client. Now it is it's to ask questions, listen and understand the client. So yeah, many, many lenses. So that is what you'll have access to after. There's a, after six weeks, there's a small subscription cost You'll have so much value, you'll willingly sign up for that. So that's before, that's afterwards. What we do recommend, and we put it in our training guidance, is that you have a growth session. And so what most organizations have done is after their program, each week they run a growth session where each member of the team says, you know, next week's mine, let's all look up these, object um, these videos on objections and this blog on objections and this podcast on objections and then we'll discuss it next week for 20 minutes. And so people might do some work in between, some pre-work and then each of your team members actually takes in turns to go around and ask people their opinion. So each person drives a bus, not you, there's enough driving going on from you, they own it. So you just put the names down of who it is and then they run it. And of course they're then self-invested to look up something that they are interested in and they're the one that's facilitating. So in this training guidance we have huge sections on how to do that. We have how to do it post the program, there, 
how to make weekly meetings, and then we even have a whole um, page 16, the actual email to send out about the growth session. So we make it very easy for you. Now the program. So we have five different trainers here. They all care about mindset. They're obsessed with mindset. They're obsessed with how people learn and retain information. They're also got more than 40 years, some of them, of experience, which means they have walked a lot of a lot of walks. They have worked on the underdog. They have worked on a leading whatever in their industry. Um, my main three guys have worked across many different industries and have been MDs across many different industries and business owners. So we come with a wealth of experience at the table. We're keynote speakers. I'm currently the keynote speaker for Salesforce, so I do a lot of their material along with another guy. So we're, we're asked for our opinion on sales, how it is now, not how it used to be. Like what's needed now to be professional, you know, to have a sophisticated, intelligent approach where you position yourself as the authority in your field, what's needed in terms of skill level. And there's different ways to run out. The main one is face-to-face. -face. So here are our programs. There they are there. This is for your beginners in sales, the inside maybe 10 years in sales. And this is for people that actually know what they're doing. This is for people that are very experienced. Or they might be less experienced, but they're already doing business development, presenting or negotiation. They would jump on that one. I mean, these are things for us to discuss. Once we go through this, we can understand your business. And then straight away, we can say we recommend that. And then for the leaders, of course, because the leaders are driving the bus. You know, you're the ones that need to have the support because you're the ones that are making decisions. And so this is different training programs we have there for leaders. I look forward to hearing you soon and how we can seeing how we can be of service to you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye now.